Guys, I'm at 32,000 subscribers. I've been doing this for a long fucking time. And I see all these clowns on YouTube with these plaques. Once you hit 100,000 subscribers, you get a nice plaque. And at the rate I'm going, the plaque will be sent to my kids. So what I'm asking you to do, because you're here, and I'm thanking you for that. Send my videos to your friends. Ask them to subscribe. Ask them to watch the channel. Not only do I do reviews of men's grooming, I do car reviews, consumer product reviews. I've gotten into athletic footwear reviews and any other assorted silliness that jumps into my head. So my urge to you is let's get this channel from 32,000 subscribers to 100,000. Like soon. <laughs>Jim Gazda here, aka Jimmy G. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a guest shave for Tony, but he's asked me to do one for his channel today, and I am happy to oblige. Today's shave is going to be about vintage gear. I'm going to use a vintage razor, vintage shave soap, vintage aftershave, and I will show you all the gear that I'm using today right now. To start off with, we're going to use this, a 1946, 1947 Gillette Aristocrat with an Astra blade. If you want to know what these sets would have looked like brand new back in 1946-1947, this is what it would look like, including the instruction manual, the blade bank, and of course, the beautiful razor. This is all new old stock that I acquired off of eBay several years ago, and this one is for my collection. The one I'm using today is a user-grade model that I love to use every so often. The other uh, components to the shave today will be, I'm going to use stairs, witch hazel, rose petal scent, and we're going to start using daily hydration for a balm. We're going to use vintage Old Spice soap, and we're going to use vintage Old Spice, the original. And... To top it off, I'm going to use Tommy Bahama Moisturizer for the face. So with that being said, I've got my brush soaking here. And this is a vintage, nah, probably like 1970s boar brush. So we're going to get that soaking a little bit more. We're going to wet the face. And I've already scrubbed up, so I've already cleaned up my face before camera. Mm -hmm. So with that, I'm going to pull up my brush. Squeeze out just a little bit, just let it stamp. And then we're going to take this bowl. And as you can see with this vintage Old Spice, wow. This stuff lathers up. It will compete with any artisan soap. So if you can ever get a hold of this vintage Old Spice shaving soap, do so. I do recommend it. It is super slick. And in some cases, it's some of it still has the original sent to it if it's still in the box and cellophane wrapper which i do have so it doesn't take long as you can see look at that look at that so with that we're gonna start lathering up and this this one actually lost a lot of its scent but what i did was took a teaspoon of that original aftershave and I poured it on top of that puck and let it set overnight. And lo and behold, I have an Old Spice scent, scented soap again that I can use. But look at that. Look at that incredible lather. It's incredibly slick. This has the performance of today's soap at yesteryear's making. Now, I do three passes. My beard grows in very different directions. So, actually when I'm going down for the very first path, it almost feels like it's a, a cross grain. So, but when you see the way I shave the whole day, that's best for my beard. And what I would recommend is beard map. Beard mapping will do everything for you. It will reduce all kinds of irritation. Oh, and just to mention,
I have five days growth. And as you can see, this razor, this blade, and this soap is mowing it right down. Now obviously you're not going to get all your hairs in one pass. Because that's not what DE shaving is about. What DE shaving is about is gradual beard reduction. And that's why you take a couple passes. I'm just going to shape around the goatee while I've got it. And I'm going to go down on my neck as I normally would. As you can see, we're doing ready for the second pass. And actually, with this soap, it actually thickens up as it's sitting. So you really don't need as much on the second and third pass. Although, with the third pass, I kind of put a little more protection on my face. So I'll put a little more lather on it. And that's just because I'm going against grain. So that eliminates any kind of serious irritation. So on my second pass, I go up. I caught a weeper and that's my fault. That's a blemish right there that I caught. And also, if you notice, I do constant blade flipping because you have two sides of a, a razor blade. So you might as well use both sides. Yep, we got myself good there on that blemish. Okay, we're going to scoop up a lot of the lather that's left over here. And we're going to lather up for a final time. And if you notice your lather kind of getting a little dry, Dip your brush in water, just on the tips, and it works out perfect. Now, since this is my final pass, and my against grain, what I do is scoop up that lather off the brush. Push that over there, and just add a little more cushioning. And by doing this, I can actually feel where I've missed some whiskers. And I can feel right there is where I missed some. And that's what the third pass is for the cleanup. So the direction that I shave my neck 
is several. So every time I'm moving the razor, it's actually going against that beard growth. against my cheeks this is the way I shave first on there then I go up Okay, and final touches. This soap is incredibly slick. Wrapping around. And I got one heck of a shave. And then what I do, take my blade out, pull it out, set it aside, Put my razor into the cup where the brush was soaking in. And then I get a quick rinse. Oh, perfect. And for that weeper, I'm going to take care of that right away with a styptic pencil. And there we go. And I will dry off. And what I do is wipe my beard. And then I pat the skin. And as you can see, that razor and that blade had no problem with removing five days growth. Alright, now onto the post shave. Thayer's Rose, which hazel is excellent for right after your shave. Ah, oh, very soothing, very soothing. Nice scent, too. As you can see, no whiskers at all. Shape balm. The balm will calm the skin. And for my favorite, the vintage aftershave. And this stuff still smells as good as ever. My favorite, one of my favorites. Mm. I love it so much. Put it on the arms. And Moisturizer. Moisturizer is very important after a shave. 
because you have to remember what you're doing to your face. You're taking a blade and scraping off the top layer of your skin and on every bit of the moisture that's out of it. So, it's very important to moisturize after you shave. Now, even if you just use the balm, that's good too. But I like the extra layer of protection of the moisturizer. It's got added benefits to it. And I can use it for my entire face. Excellent. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed today's shave. I certainly mostly have. And I just want to say thank you, Tony, for inviting me on your show to do a guest shave again. So to all you folks out there, have a great evening. All right, big shout out from my boy, Jimmy G, for doing just an awesome vintage shave. Jimmy is a wealth of knowledge in this hobby, whatever you want to consider it, this way of life, vintage shaving, modern shaving, carts, DEs, straight razors, you name it. He knows it. He knows the history. He's just a great guy who I encourage to start his own channel because I think it would be an incredible success. But thanks again, Jimmy, for your friendship, for your knowledge, and just being an overall great guy. And I want to thank you for watching this video. And I encourage any of you viewers, do a guest shave. Reach out to me on X, on Insta, on Facebook, and I'll let you know how you can get the footage to me. I'll do the editing, you do the shaving, and I'll see you clowns next time you know i'm thinking about going with the jimmy g goatee really nice full thick goatee for jimmy g in honor of his great shave let me know guys leave a comment should i put the goatee on or should i just keep it baby face anyway i'll see you clowns next time but in the meantime you know what to do Keep pushing play. Now roll the music.